Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a belly band for a baby goat. I started by cutting my pattern. Um, I have two pieces for the top and the bottom. And as you can see, this here is to create a easy um, what's the word? Casing, um, casing for the elastic. These will be the flaps that go on either side. And the first thing we want to do is we want to cut um, two pieces of Velcro, one for either side. One's going to be for hook and one's going to be for loop, which the hook is just the hard scratchy part of Velcro and the loop is going to be the soft side. Okay, so this is the hook this is going to be on one of the inside pieces and you want it to be slightly shorter than the side because we are going to finish this edge you don't really have to but we're gonna fold it over and just sew a straight stitch along just to make it look a little neater and this is our loop the soft stuff and we are just going to cut a long enough piece that we can go you know somewhere thereabouts, about halfway around. Um, and the first thing we want to do is we want to sew this on with a, um, a zigzag stitch, making sure to go all the way around the corners as best we can. We need to really quickly create some casings and all we're doing is folding over the flaps I added on both sides and sewing them down. Make sure to backstitch at the front and the end just so they won't come on your stitching won't come undone because that elastic is going to put a little bit of extra pressure on that area. And as you can see I just go right up and down and there's my casing. Okay, so we have this sewed on and we have the end of the sewed, and we have our main frame of our, um, <laughs> um, or our goat, our goat wrap. Um, so what we are gonna do now is we are going to attach these pieces. Now, when they are sewn on, basically, we want them to look like this. The end with the Velcro needs to have the blank side, or the, the loop needs to have the blank side. The opposite end will have the hook. That'll allow this to go wrap around. Sew the right sides together. So you can clip these together with little clips or you can use pins. Okay, so here's you got your clips. You can just clip them right in place to hold it together while you're sewing. This is a giant pain in the butt um, because you are showing, you are sewing the shiny side of the pole. I don't love doing this. Um, it is a little extra. If you switch to a, um, well, you can use your serger, which is easier for sure. Um, you can also switch to a walking foot on your sewing machine, and if you use that, it'll go over this a little easier. So. I'm going to go ahead and sew this together, and then I will do the same thing with this end. Um, I'm going to use a serger, so just note that you can use your sewing machine. I recommend you, you may want to use a zigzag just because this is um, kind of a stretchy material, although it's not, there's not a lot of stretch needed for this, but fine. Um, you, you can use either, so again, serger, much easier. Okay, so as you can see, it's sewn all the way around. Again, serger. Um, I'm going to flip this. And you see you have a little pocket there now. And you can top stitch this once you're done. 
you're gonna wanna do the other side first. So as you can see, I flipped this around. I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch this end and also the other end, just to make it look a little nicer. And then we can put our elastic into our casings. So apparently I forgot to record the section where I put the elastic in, but all you're doing is feeding a short elastic on each side into that casing and tacking it down on either end. You sort of have to use your judgment on the length. Just make sure it's a little scrunchy. Okay, the last thing we need to do for our diaper or our wrap is to make sure that we have absorbency in it because the PUL that we use is just a fabric that helps keep it from um, from leaking through. However, if it's just urine sitting in there without any absorbency, the urine will, will leak through. It's not perfect. So you want some absorbency and you want something to be enough for whoever you're putting this on, like whether it's a dog or a goat or whatever. I have no idea how much is enough. However, I have some prefolds. These are the old fashioned things our grandparents used on, well, yeah, maybe grandparents, maybe parents used on our babies. Um, I love these. They absorb a ton of liquid. However, so this is three of those prefolds and I cut it into three pieces so it would fit because this is obviously a smaller, yeah, it's just different how it's put on. So I cut it into three sections and I surged the edge. The other edges are fine because they were already sewn. So this is a great way to use old prefolds that you have and don't need anymore. I, use, I also use them for cleaning, but so here's here's um, one that I have to finish. All I have to do is finish each edge. And what I'm doing is I'm using my serger because that'll be the best option in this case. If you don't have a serger, you can zigzag the edges. Just do a really good job of it because it will possibly fray, especially with all the laundering you're gonna be doing. So these just tuck right into your, um, right into here. And if you need extra absorbency, if this isn't enough, you can always add two or you just change them more often. Um, and you could probably add snaps to hold them in place, but I don't think that's probably that necessary. Um, they get kind of tucked in there in between the elastic and they shouldn't shift too much. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. So I hope this is helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and get my pattern over at DIYDanielle.com so you can make your own. Have a great day. Bye.